I'm going to show you a couple of quick ways that you can customize your experience with Windows 10. Mostly it's about getting quick access to the things you need. So at the moment I don't have anything really here on my taskbar other than the program I'm using to record this. I use things like Word a lot, so what I should do is I should put them there. So if I type in Word here in the Start menu and right click on the app, I can set it to be pinned to the taskbar so that, it, that it's down there. And I tend to do that with all the things I regularly access. So you can see I've pinned a number of things down here um, and I can put them in the order I want just by really dragging them and dropping them so that they're in some, some sort of order that makes sense to me. There's a couple of other things I want to add um, besides the regular ones. It's good to have, um, I think, a calculator on there as well. Just handy to pop that up. So I'll pin that there to the taskbar. There it is. So that's all my programs. Now, one of the good things about this that you may not know is that if you right click on one of these, it shows you all of your recent um, items. Now, if one of those documents is something that you want to revisit quite regularly, then you might want to pin that. So you just mouse over it and click on the little pin on the side of it. And then it'll stay at the top. These recent ones will change depending on what you're, you've been doing, but the pinned things will stay there. And you can pin, you know, really as many as you like. And when you're done with them, you can unpin them and they're not necessarily going to be there next time. And you can also use this as a shortcut to getting into things. So I can right click on Outlook, for example, and do a new email message or a new appointment, new meeting, set up a new contact, etc. The other thing I'd like to get access to, of course, is all of my different files. So if I click again over on the start menu here and go to File Explorer, now that File Explorer is down here on the bar, just right click on it and pin that to the taskbar as well. I always tend to have mine over on the left. So now that that's there as well, if I just close it down again, I can always open it from here, or if I right click, it shows me here my most frequent folders, plus I've got a whole heap of pinned folders here that I regularly go to. There's a couple of ways you can pin them there. You can pin them there from your recent folders, or when you've got this open, if you've got something that you're going to regularly, let's say, um, Oh, you know, there's something in here that's say year 10 science. If I'm visiting that regularly, I can just drag that over here to the quick access area and it'll say, you can see how it says pin to quick access. I drop it, it's in there. So when I have this um, file explorer open, I can just click on them. Or uh, if I don't have it open, now when I right click on it, you can see that year 10 science is there as well. And then of course I can unpin it if I don't want to see it anymore. So that should help you get to things quicker. It saves you a lot of clicks. The other thing um, that's really interesting to play around with is the actual start menu itself here. Now you have this section over here called Laugh at a Glance, and if you look at it, you'll see there's a whole different number of, uh, of tiles there, they're called. And you can fiddle around with them. If you right click on them, it gives you some options to resize them and so forth. And if you open them up by um, left clicking on them, you can change things like where your um, weather is focused on and you can click in here and you can log into your email so that'll show you uh, things on your calendar and so forth. Um, you can change the news so that it's Australian centric rather than US centric or wherever you happen to live. And so yeah, that can also be a shortcut to finding information that you need.